good, Aga Force. Welcome back to the Watch It with McQueen Channel, man. Yes, sir, we are back. How y'all feeling tonight, man? Y'all feeling good? Good. It's really good, man. And what's today? Um, Wednesday? Wednesday evening? Um, <clears throat> We have Adam22 tells Blue Jasmine she needs therapy and she, and she gets pissed. Okay? Um, I have no idea who Blue Jasmine is. Um, but, um, I guess we're about to find out. Sounds like another thought. <laughs> Let's not waste any time. Let's get straight to it, man. It just literally happened to me last week again. I was coming back from Miami from the Fresh and Fit podcast. I you fuck either of those guys? Huh? You fuck those guys? Ew, like what? No, I, <laughs> oh, I, ew. Because I, I honestly, um... Yeah, I'm not gonna say that. Forget it. What? But no, uh, if you, you cut, would you cut it out? Ew. No. Like what? What? Like no, I'm not. Okay. It, like, did you, you cut it out? Ew. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that. Forget it. What? But, no, uh, if you, you cut, would you cut out? it out? Ew. No. Like what? What? Like no, I'm not. It, okay. Like yeah, I feel like unless it's financial, men don't. It's hard for me to get turned down by a man. Like to me, it's like yeah, no, I'm good. You really? know what I mean? Yeah, like unless I think like even watching a man spend his money like. Recently, I was at the strip club, and watching a man spend his money even on other women turns me on. You know what I mean? It's just like, it what? makes me feel like, wow, like you're a boss. I think you need therapy. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, I'm just serious. Like, we, you have Why to... do I need therapy for getting what I want just for living? Okay. If you're a woman who could get turned on by a guy for other reasons, and then you also get turned on by a guy spending money on you, I guess I could understand. But when you say you only get turned on by a guy throwing money at you, I mean... I mean, that, that, that's, like, the first thing. And then, you know, then I'm curious now. Like, oh, okay, you're hot. Big dick energy. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. What kind of financial circumstances did you grow up under? Like, were you poor growing up? Hell, yeah. Oh, I, was, okay. I had, my mother was 18. My father was 21. My dad had a couple crack houses, so he had money and cars and stuff. But it was, like, hood shit. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I have no bread. Uh-huh. It has to get it out the mud. I guess that does probably partially explain it. Maybe. I mean, just like your male role model having crack houses. I guess that's probably <laughs> kind of explains some of. But this. my dad did financially take care of me my whole life, my whole life until I was twenty-one, until I finished college. Right, but mm -hmm. he was also basically committing genocide. Destroying his own community to make no. That was just why he was young. After like he went, <laughs> and not, no hate on people selling crack or anything because I understand a lot. It would be unfair for me to hold your dad to that standard when a lot of the people I interview have obviously uh, probably killed tons of people with the drugs that they were selling. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's just you know an acceptable part of the culture. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just there's got to be more to this. I don't know. Um, what were we saying prior? The thing that really kind of she kind of fine though. I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like she's gonna say something that's gonna make me change my mind. Right now, she's fine. But she already did kind of say something that kind of just made me change my mind. Like that whole money thing in the beginning, that's just ridiculous. But let's see. The, the best part in the Ken Samuels thing that I saw was how you tried to like basically explain how it was illegal for them to kick you out of the apartment. And he, he I think, kind of cornered you and made you realize that actually they legally no it, it, it is illegal though especially during corona because right. they were trying to i mean these circumstances were weren't the ones i was under because the person was is paying my bills happily uh -huh. but he tried to say if this was a circumstance and i obviously i'm not just gonna give in i'm not gonna be like okay here you go like no like you're gonna have to wait until i like, i get my shit together okay but say it was me and we were dating and i was paying for an apartment that you were living in and paying for the car and we broke up I would say, I'm taking it all back. And then, what are you going to do? Like, I'm going to say, get it back in blood, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I probably, like, if I got to send some, some people to, you know, kick yeah, you out of the yes. apartment or whatever, I guess I got to do that. I, I hope they don't have to hurt you or whatever, but I'm probably, and I would like to not be there since uh, me being part of it doesn't seem like a good idea. But, like, what are you going to do? Honestly, dumb things have never happened to me. But I, know, I would but just, just imagine that I would not, um... I wouldn't leave easily. And I don't have a shame in saying that. Like, I'm not... Yeah, no. It's just not happening. You're not going to kick me out of space that you placed me in. Like, you're going to have to wait until I'm comfortable enough or until I'm ready to do what but I need to you're do. You're just making yourself look even more retarded. 
You're making yourself look even more retarded by doing that. Like, why do these bitches think that that makes you look cooler or something? <laughs> if someone tells you to get off of their property, you get the fuck off of their property. Wow. That you're not going to win. Legally, it's their right to. And right. And it's the right thing, in my opinion, for them right. to be able to. And there's nothing that you could do to stop them. And if the cops were called or if it was taken to court, they would rule that you were wrong. Like, what jurors, what, what, what basis does this, this I don't, I don't have? really know the laws, you know, so I can't really fight that. Obviously. Um, but I know that I'm going to stick it out until I can't. Yeah, you're going to have to drag me out of there. Yeah. Right. Just, mm -hmm. These bitches nowadays, man. I swear to God. This is the mindset, y'all. Fellas. And this is and this is why I understand why Fresh and Fit does not put their hands on the females, bro. Because this is how they think. This is how they think. She said, I don't know the law, but you know one thing she do she does know is that if she stays there long enough and pisses the wrong person off, they gonna put her hand their hands on her. And that's a fucking check for her. Like she said in the beginning of the video, all she cares about is money, right? What you think she's thinking if she doesn't know the law, okay? She has no actual fucking logical supporting fucking statements to support her mindset on how she thinks it's... <laughs> How she thinks it's illegal to kick someone out of their own house. She still hasn't answered that part, by the way. <laughs> and then she said it because it's COVID. Like, what the fuck does it have to do with anything? Okay, she... Going back to the point, though. She said all of that. What do you think that a girl like that is thinking when she says shit like this? She's saying that you're, you would have to drag me out. Man, this is why. This is why they don't put their hands on the girls, bro. Because they know that bitches like this are plotting. They know these bitches are stupid. You know, and, and ladies of the Aqua Force, please don't take offense to that. I'm talking about just stupid bitches. There's stupid niggas out there too, okay? I'm not saying all of you guys are bad, okay? Um, But yeah, you know, that shit crazy. That shit crazy, you know? That's why I said, man, them niggas really got to get, like, uh, like some, some brolic female, uh, what's that shit? Security guards. So they could just, hmm, grab them bitches by the hair and just, ha! Throw them out the fucking room. You know, get them out of there quick. Get they, let them violate them, nigga. That'll be entertaining. That'll take their podcast to a whole nother level, in my opinion. But, you know. That shit's crazy. That shit is crazy. Fellas, please keep your hands to yourself, man. Because there's dumbass bitches out here like this that are waiting to ruin your life. Waiting. So, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to say this, but what does this guy think of all this newfound attention to his uh, romantic situation or his financial situation, I guess? Like, what does he think of the fact that this has gotten so much attention and that it's basically about him, even though he remains anonymous? He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He probably thinks it's cool. He hasn't really said anything in regards to it. That's wait, wait, what happened? All this new. Mm -hmm. So okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna already said this, but what does this guy think of? Who I'm gonna is this? stick it out until I can't. Yeah, you're gonna have to drag me out of there. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to already said this, but what does this guy think of all this newfound attention to his uh, romantic situation or his financial situation, I guess? Like, what does he think of the fact that this has gotten so much attention and that it's basically about him, even though he remains anonymous? He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He probably thinks it's cool. He hasn't really said anything in regards to it that's negative. Mm -hmm. um, he's definitely said, you know, he's a money person, so he's definitely said capitalize. He's definitely said try to make it into something for yourself. You know what I mean? But he hasn't said anything. He doesn't feel any way. He doesn't care. That's crazy. Because I would think it would be, like, really embarrassing to, like, even though he hasn't been named. But there, you, you'll be surprised that I've received cash apps from, from men after this. Like, men are in my DM sending me money who I don't even know. Right. Who probably will never meet me, 
who don't know where I live, don't know anything about me but this, what they see on the internet, and they're sending me money. I mean, I guess it shouldn't be so hard for me to understand because the truth is is that there's tons of girls out there who are, like, charging money for their OnlyFans, and then their OnlyFans has, like, what, like, pictures of them in a bikini, whatever. Like, not that anything that crazy. And then, meanwhile, you could log right onto Pornhub and search that girl's name and see her getting fucked in the ass, whatever, and dude's still, like, I mean, if you're paying for the OnlyFans, you kind of are just paying... F- her for no reason realistically because there's crazier shit on porn not for every girl obviously like Mm -hmm. i'm I'm sure you're not on there but i mean i guess it shouldn't surprise me so much that guys just want to give money to girls for nothing but i can't yeah i can't escape it it's just baffling to me i don't think it's for nothing i think it's for just them existing and i feel like i mean i feel like don't a lot of pot what's patreon don't people like <laughs> men or whoever watch you give money to people just to listen to you patreon.com slash no jumper yes but i mean there's a lot of uh content on the patreon that's like exclusive that they don't have access to right. we can do naked girl stuff on there mm-hmm. we can do you know all kinds of drug types and, and <laughs> so, that we and have so yet, they, but we're going so, to and so they find value even you know what i mean but a person like me would be like why would i pay for this you know what i mean like you said when i can go on porn hub or right, i can listen to this on youtube for free or whatever so that's the part that i don't get because even on fresh and fit podcast i didn't want to like put them on blast but i was like aren't you guys you men paying to watch men like i don't get it like why wouldn't you pay a woman like if you liked her or if you were had interest in the men are paying to watch men to get fucking educated Uh, is this is, is she really serious right now like i hope adam says something i think if Adam doesn't say anything, I really feel like he just kind of already accepted that this bitch is retarded, and he's not gonna, he's gonna like, <laughs> he's just gonna troll and kind of just allow the thoughts to run, um, and not really get too involved in trying to expose how stupid this bitch is because it gets to that point sometimes. It gets to that point, you know, where you know you, you just realize. I'm sure, fellas, you've been on a date with a girl that you're just trying to fuck, and she's really stupid. You've been on a date with like you, but you've been on that date, okay? And it gets to a point when you're an intelligent person, you're watching the girl, and you're just like, bro, this bitch is so fucked. Even f- females. I don't mean, I don't know. I'm, maybe females have felt the same way being on a date with a guy, and maybe you just wanted, you know, just, maybe you just wanted to see how it goes, or whatever the fuck it may have been, okay? You be on that date, okay? And you're like, damn, this motherfucker is so stupid, but you know what? It's not even worth me ruining my own peace. To try and comment, or even get involved, or even act like I care that you're this fucking stupid. Because I, I just want to fuck. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's where Adam is at right now, minus the I just want to fuck part. And more just like, I want to get this entertainment from my podcast. You know? Because this, it, she cannot be serious. But the, the thing is that she is. That's That's insane. It's insane. Niggas are on there to get fucking educated, to learn about how to be a fucking alpha male, which is kind of sad because it's like, damn, you know, niggas really got to learn that. But I mean, at the same time, it's not because, you know, I, I think what's the name? Uh, Myron had a whole fucking candy store thing analogy where he was talking about how, you know, men, we got to learn to be fucking, you know what I'm saying? To be attractive to females, whereas females just have access to niggas. At any point, at any time in their life, at any, whenever they want, you know? So, I mean, niggas are on there trying to learn that shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to learn not even just how to get girls, just to be a better person, how to be smarter, how to be more alpha, how to be, you know, all these things, man. They're on there to get educated. Whereas, niggas are paying because they want to jack off to you. It's two totally different fucking things and two totally different levels of fucking value. Shit's crazy, man. Shit's insane. Like, what's the difference? Well, I mean, the difference is that, like, if somebody, you know, and apparently there are many people who are open to this, but if, if there's people who watch my podcast and they want to see more of the podcast or they want to see some extra content or, you know, some people do it out of the goodness of their heart because the reality is, is exactly. that you could be a huge fan of No Jumper and it costs zero dollars, like, for you to be a fan. You watch everything on YouTube for mm-hmm. free. Some people see that. They realize at a certain point, like, oh, they have all these expenses. They have all these employees. Maybe I want to give them five bucks a month because that will help make their whole exactly. operation easier. Same here. 
So some people see a beautiful woman and they're like, maybe I want to buy her a car because that's going to help her get from point A to point B. Maybe I want to put her in a house because that's going to, she's going to be sheltered and it's going to be because of me Wow, right. that this is happening. The same exact thing. It's not, but, but okay. I think there's a big difference between like a podcast that you get a ton of enjoyment out of and that occupies like many, many hours out of your week versus like just a random woman just having a car. Right. Like what house. the it fuck? It just seems like much, much less common sense to want to support. Really? It's, it, I think it depends she on said who really. you are and what you like to support. So some people may like to support a podcast, and some people <sighs> like to support women. Some random woman having a nice car. Right. Yeah. That's ridiculous. And that makes men feel good. Listen, the other day, oh yeah, with the taxi. No, it doesn't. Men. Not. No, it does not. It makes pussies feel good. That's those aren't real men. Real men would never feel good off of giving a fucking random woman a fucking a car or putting her in a fucking house. They have absolutely no idea or core. They have no connection to this bitch. She's not helping or elevate them, elevating them in any way, shape, or form. No real man is going to do that. So I don't know what the fuck this bitch is talking about. But this is what happens when girls get gassed up off of fucking pussy ass niggas. This is exactly what happens, man. And it's sad. Say that story. Came off the flight to Miami. My phone was dead, so I had no choice but to talk to this person. I was annoyed at first. He's talking to me, telling me about the cars that he has. And I'm like, can you buy me a car? And at first, he's laughing, like, ha, ha, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, I'm really serious. I really need a car. Like, mm. my car is messed up, da, 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 you know, bullshitting, whatever. And, um... Yeah, so I exchanged, so then we were talking, you know, we, we continued to talk, but he wasn't, like, he wasn't really jacking it, like, during the, our initial, like, car ride, mm -hmm. gave him my phone number, he's literally been calling me the last five, six days trying to get me to meet him at the dealership, but I've been so busy running around with everything that I haven't had the chance to, every single day, are you going to meet me today at the dealership, are you going to meet me today at the dealership, are you going to meet me today at the dealership, uh, that he wants to get me a car, don't know this person, niggas really a bitch, a one hour taxi ride, I didn't have to pay for it. If you're driving a taxi, you're not making enough money to buy a random woman a car. I mean, I don't know. Some people... You don't know. I mean, you kind of do, though. Like, you kind of do. A cab is not the best job. I've watched YouTube videos about people who drive Uber and shit. They make, like, you know, 500 bucks a week, whatever. I mean, it's well, cool, according, to him, according to him, he has an X, whatever the fuck, BMW. He has a Porsche. He, you know what I mean? He put his daughter through school cash. You know what I mean? So he, whatever money he has saved up, maybe. I don't know what's his financial situation, but I know he wants to get me a car. And when I go home, I know I'm going to go get my car. Does it stand out to you that there's maybe, like, a possibility that he might, like, eventually stalk you or, like, do some creepy shit or rape you or something like that? Because that, that, to me, that's, like, the first thing that comes to mind. Anytime somebody tries to offer me something for free, is just a lot. You think they want to rape you? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Alarm bells go off in my head. Like, okay, I have guys come up to me and they say, "Oh, I own this place, and we'll let you, we'll let you have fucking whatever rental car you want. Just like shout us out on Instagram or whatever." I don't do it because I don't want to be in a situation where someone's giving me something because then they're gonna feel like they can ask me for something or they can like exert pressure on me. And I know that being in the position that I'm in, I don't want to have to do anything for anybody. So I just say no. If I'm going to do it, people offer to work for me for free all the time. I don't want to fucking have somebody working for me for free. I want to pay you a fair amount, and then I can actually lean on you to do the work that I need you to do. But if, I'm, if you're working for me for free, I can't yell at you and say, hey, you need to do this. Why the fuck didn't you get this done, yada, yada? I need to be able to rely on people, and that just doesn't really make sense to me. Well, for me, I, uh, I just feel like if you stand strong in your stance, I don't give a fuck what anybody feels or thinks or wants to do. You know what I mean? I mean, no one forced you to do these things for me. So it's like once you give it to me, it's mine. I do agree that these men, if they want to spend money on these relationships or whatever, then that's that's cool. That's like their prerogative, et cetera. I do think we need to address like the simp culture where so many guys think that this is like a good use of their time or money. I think it just says like really horrible things about men in um, I'm kind of, hey, you know what? I was going to kind of comment on how the fact that uh, there was not really a part where she supposedly had got pissed, but okay. Um, I mean, that's you two for you. Um, hey, man, ain't nothing really to see here, man. This bitch is just another fucking idiot. Fellas, watch out for females like this. Please do not fall into the trap because it's going to get worse. Okay. <laughs> Love you guys, man. I'll see you guys next video.